the final decision on whether 263 health workers who had been shortlisted for employment in Trinidad and Tobago still hangs in the balance. According to the Foreign Ministry spokesperson, Fredo Polot, the initial shortlist would deprive the country of talent and labor since many of those on the list were already employed by government. I think it is now a case of cabinet pronouncing itself on this issue. But nevertheless, this whole process is going to be reviewed, uh, majorly targeting the unemployed in Uganda. Now the ministry says it's waiting for cabinet to pronounce itself on the matter before calls for fresh applications can be made. The proposal by the Ministry of Foreign Affairs caused a heated debate in many circles and resulted in a court case by the Institute of Public Policy and Research lawyer Justinian Katera against the Attorney General. If we are take doctors and health workers outside, then we can focus on those who are not employed but not breed our own specialists who are already in our own hospitals within the country. In a letter dated 17th April 2015, Minister of Health Dr. Lyoda Tumwesja wrote to the Foreign Affairs Minister advising against the export. At least 73% of those shortlisted are nurses, while 63% are midwives, all employed by government. The Ministry of Health further says that 44% of all the specialists are employees of government. It is for this reason that government will review the process and attract more of those that are not employed. We wish well for our health workers and would want health workers to earn better and get more skills. But the, at the policy level, I think the uh, main concern is that we should strengthen our own system in Uganda first. And then uh, thereafter, we can look at whether there is a need to export our health workers. The call for applications to work in the Caribbean nation stated a fairly attractive package, the 25 to 55 age group, for a three-year contract. This included airfare to and from the country, a furnished house with all utilities paid for, allowances covering settling in, transport and communication, among others. It remains to be seen whether the cabinet will agree to a decision to have 90% of the country's physicians move to Trinidad and Tobago or take heed of the Ministry of Health's advice to retain Uganda's health professionals. Shilandhuchiri. NTV.